Hmm, I might be able to go back door there. Let's see how he's playing that. Yeah, his body. Look at how his body's leaning to the right. He's anticipating me coming out of there. Yeah, he's anticipating me coming out of there. This could be something we go to in the fourth quarter. But what I'll need to do, instead of OG making that inside cut, he should just come over the top of Valanciunas and go to the corner that way. This way we do not have a defender back here. Because if he makes that cut there and I go back door, you know, his man's just going to be in the way. But now if I send him over the top of Valanciunas, let Cal know this is what we're going to be doing, then I should be able to fake over and go back door for a lob. That's something we should look at. But still, coming off these screens need to be threats. They need to be attacking movements. I'm coming out here off of this action for a screen, but I'm not approaching that in the right way. I think I need to look for those shooting opportunities instead of screens to to just simply get the ball. These are screens to just simply get open to get the ball. They should be screens that carry a threat. So now when I come off of this screen, you gotta worry about me catching and shooting that ball. Not behind the three point line, but just inside of it. That's gotta be a threat, right? In the playoffs, the more you have to handle the basketball, the more defenses can key in on you. The more you can catch and shoot, the more you can get defenses to make mistakes before they even realize they've made one, the better off you are. So I gotta start approaching, approaching these screens as threats. Come off, catch and shoot. Okay, now, here comes the screen. Valanciunas slips out again. What do we have here? All right, everybody's packing it in. I see OG sneaking baseline, but he stops his cut. Why does he stop his cut there? Yeah, I gotta keep keep my, my dribble alive here on the baseline side here. If I keep that dribble alive on the baseline side and look OG off, I don't wanna I wanna see him all the way through. I wanna dribble down baseline side, look towards the middle as if I'm struggling, right? As if they've pinned me down to the sideline. Cause for sure, if I get down on that baseline side and that sideline there, they're gonna come and trap. All right, I should let them come and trap me, let them think I'm under duress, look off to the middle, and all of a sudden I can hit OG cutting baseline. I mean, he gets that rebound because there's nobody there to rotate to him, right? Which means he was wide open. I mean, there's just literally nobody there I can get to him, right? There's nobody between him and the basket. So it makes complete sense for him to get this rebound, which means he'd also be open on that action. All right, so this action here, the, me off the ball needs to carry more of a threat. If I'm popping up right here, Valanciunas has got to pin him inside there, and that's got to be a jump shot. He shouldn't be able to get through there. There's no way he should get through that. There. He needs to be pinned down. That, that shoulder action is not going to do. And Valanciunas has got to square him up, set a solid screen, and I got to in turn hide behind that screen. Me coming up this high now puts my defender in perfect alignment to be able to squeeze through there and close out to me. If I catch it a few steps over, where now I'm directly in front of Valanciunas, now my defender's gotta run through Valanciunas to get to me here, and he won't be able to do that. So it's just a matter of slightly changing the angle to buy me that split second I need to be able to have an open jump shot there. That's a lob. That should be a lob to the room. Come off right now. Throw that ball right over the top. Throw that ball right over the top. Nobody can get to him there.
that weak side's got to worry about Lowry shaking up. Right, look at him. He's looking. He's got to know where he is. He has no vision of where that ball is. John's a non-factor here because I throw that ball over to the rim. He's not going to be able to get to that. Put it right over the top. That should be a bucket. 